Hello everyone, my name is Stepan and I'm excited to bring you the short video on how to create a before and after effect for your images using just HTML and CSS. All links and source code you will find in the video's description below, so be sure to check that out. Let's dive in and get started on creating this awesome effect. Let's start by exploring our idea behind creating before and after effect for your images. The first image will be added in HTML and will remain unchanged. While the second image will be added as a background. And by resizing the second image, we will achieve a stunning before and after transformation. So, let's get started and learn how to make this effect. The next our step is to add our HTML. Before we start adding, I will take this image from pexels.com that's totally free to use. Now let's get into HTML. First we need to add a wrapper around our component and add the image. Let's write wrap and add image. Let's add some alt, let it be fun image. And also we need to add element which we will use for background. Let it be div img after. The next element and probably the last one is input. We type range. We need to have this component for changing the size of our effect. We don't need to write mean or Mass range values because we can use default range. Default range is 0 to 100, and default value which we will use is 50. So let's write our default value 50. That means is half of our image. So HTML is done. Are you ready for magic part? Let's dive in and make some magic happen. Let's create some magic and add styles. First, let's make our image responsive for better user experience. Let's write image with 100% and height. Next, we will create CSS variable that will control the width of our background and the position of our input. Let's write root. Slider some position it will be 50 percentage just like in our HTML. To add some flare, we can include an icon to visualize the end of the effect. It will be a white spot in the middle of our image. So let's create some icon using before pseudo element just to avoid creating a new HTML elements. For Content will be empty right now, then position absolute, top 50%, left, left will be dynamic, and it will be war, other some position, then we need to add some sizes with Pixels. The ground will be white. We need to add for our wrap element position relative. Let's pick our spot in the middle. Minus 15. 0, 0 and minus 15 pixels and uh, let's find maybe some arrow so I think that arrows are a great option so let's use W series rules to find the perfect ones here we have like a lot of different arrows and I think that this one will be the best one
let's center this new icon. Let's play flats. Justify and center and on items. as well and here we have mistake now it's in the middle of our spot let's add some border radius and our oh, icon is ready for our sound image we will use Position absolute and place it on top of the original image. We will use background size away to fill all available space. So let's disrupt this functionality. IMG after position absolute left zero top zero by 100% with the same functionality as our white spot background URL ground image probably URL is the same as we have in our HTML. Ground size power. And probably we need to set display flex in our wrap element. Looks good. Uh, we see that uh, our spot not fully visible. Let's set that index one for example and uh, let's use some filter for our background i will use developer.mozilla.org and just to find the good example so i think that grace l will be good example for us but in general in general we can use any of these examples next let's style our range opponent it will be positioned at the top of all elements so it will have position absolute let's describe this logic Input. Type range position absolute top zero left zero with one hundred percentage high the same. Let's also hide this line appearance none ground color French. okay looks better also i would like to understand that we can resize this block so let's add some custom or store and let's find something for resizing I think that EWR size will be the best one because probably we have the same icon. So let's add sort more size and here we have we don't have any cursor so probably we can use pointer events none for this element because our input is all block not just this 
small spot. So it's good time to test our solution. Let's add some JavaScript code to handle the input event on our Rage input. So let's create our first variable in JavaScript. It will be our root and it will be document, document element. The first step is to find our range component get element by id the range let's add id range to our input and let's add our listener we will handle input event here we receive event and we need to update root style set property our variable and set new property it will be event get value plus percentage let's test it and before I say it. Before I say that it looks good and everything works, let's test it in one more browser. After double checking our solution in WebKit browser, I noticed that we have a small issue that could negatively impact user experience. So, when we change the width of our background, the sound image, which is background, a bit jumps. Maybe it's one pixel, but I see the difference. I will let the current solution in the description so you can check it as well. But I think that we need to find one more solution. I found a good solution which can fix our issue. Here we have CSS portal and libpass generator. I found very similar shape which we can reuse. Here we have four spots and by default it will be 0000. In our case we change this spot and we can try use the same approach as we have here. So let's try. Let's change this from using variable to static value and add lip pass. So let's change it to 100%. Let's add lip pass and set with 000. Let's check it and get our variable. Almost what we wanted, but it goes to another way. So we just change the direction using all 100% minus our variable. And now it goes to the correct way. And as you can see that it doesn't jump as previously. So now I can say that solution is ready to use. You can found all the links in the description below. And I would appreciate your feedback, likes and new followers. See you in the next video. Thank you.